Hello students, I am Dr. Vinita Ratho. I will teach you components and functions of canal system. In the earlier video, we have discussed the introduction of canal system and the role of water current in canal system. Components of canal system. A typical canal system is made up of following components. Ostia, Radial canal, apopile, pontine tube, and ostula. Ostia. Ostia are the pores which are present on the body surface of sponges and they are meant for intake of outside water into the body. These pores are called ostia or dermal pores. Dermal pores open into the next part of the canal system which is called incurrent canals. Incurrent canals are the invaginated folds of the body wall and they are also called as inhalant canals because the water enters inside from the ostia. These incurrent canals communicate with the outside through the ostia but they end blindly at their inner ends. The incurrent canals are lined by flat squamous cells and they form water conduits. Water flows in incurrent canal and then it enters into the next part of the canal system through the third component of the canal system, which is called as prosopyles. Prosopyles are the intercellular spaces which connect the incurrent canals with the radial canals. Radial canals. The evaginations of body wall forms radial canals. These radial canals end blindly at the outer surface of the body but they lead at their inner ends into the spongocele through apopyles. The radial canals are lined by special type of the cells which are known as collar cells or the coenocytes. The collar cells are provided with flagella. The lashing movements of the flagellum procure the food particles and push them into the cell mouth. Thus, this is food capturing arrangement of sponges. The radial canals open into the spongocele by means of a pore which is called as apopyle. So the next component of the canal system is apopyles. Apopyles are the openings of radial canals into the spongocele and they are also called as the internal ostia. The apopyles open into the spongocele. So the next component of the canal system is spongocele. Spongocele is a large central cavity of the body which is lined by flagellated collar cells or the coenocytes. Spongocele opens to the outside by means of a pore which is called as osculum. Osculum provides provided with sphincters to regulate the rate of flow of water from inside of the body to the outside. Functions of the canal system. The canal system serves the purpose of nutrition. It is regarded as a highway for the food through the body cells in the radial canal with flagella which capture the food particles. Water currents are produced by flagella. Thus, water flows into the central cavity or the spongocele. Smaller food particles, for example, diatoms, protozoa, and particles of organic debris are 
ingested into the protoplasm of cells and digested the digestion of food is intracellular intracellular digestion means the food which is captured directly in the cells of the sponges here itself it is digested there is no digestive system the thus the canal system here does the same functions as the circulatory system in higher animals it take up the food from the water it digests the food inside the cells it distribute the digested food inside the cells and it also helps in removal of undigested food material from the body through the osculum the canal system also helps in the process of respiration the streaming currents of the water have dissolved oxygen in it therefore the gaseous exchange or respiration takes place in the cells the oxygen from the water is taken up by the cells and the carbon dioxide which is produced by the process of respiration is released directly into the water so oxygen is taken up by simple process of diffusion and similarly the carbon dioxide is also given out of the cells the respiration is also intracellular as the porifers or the sponges are not having any respiratory system their level of organization is only tissue level of organization the next function which is performed by the canal system is the excretion the canal system also helps in the excretion or the removal of nitrogenous waste products which are produced by the process of respiration and digestion these waste products enters into the spongocele from various cells and then it is liberated outside the body through the osculum in the nitrogenous waste substance various products which are formed by the process of digestion and respiration they are removed from the body so we can say that canal system also functions as the excretory system of the sponges the purpose of canal system is also to increase the surface area of the animal in water because there is no system of digestion respiration on or excretion in sponges and every cell of their body is in constant touch with the water so with the help of this canal system the animal can perform their activities of respiration excretion and nutrition and this purpose is solved by presence of canal system in sponges